Hey guys, I'm Haley Catlin and this is The Scoop. In order to promote breast cancer awareness, the Vice President for University Outreach, the Office of Public Service, and the Phi Delta Chi Fraternity will be hosting the All In, All Pink event this afternoon. The free event will be hosted on the Student Center Green Space and include guest speakers, free food, and giveaways. This is the sixth year for the event. With Halloween right around the corner, Tuske Tuskegee School of Veterinary Medicine is getting your pet involved. Partnering with Purina, the vet school is hosting contests this Sunday to see which dog will have the spookiest outfit, win the peanut butter licking contest, and what dog can run the fastest. This event will be hosted at Town Creek Park starting at 1 in the afternoon. Louise Crayher Preserve was a gift given to Auburn University students for their own personal use. There are trails to hike and reptiles to learn about and they are open every day from sunrise to sunset. They completed their reptiles and amphibian series this past weekend with family members of all ages in attendance. Awesome amphibians and reptiles had their third and final educational show at the Louise Crayer Preserve on North College Street. People of all ages came out to learn about the different types of species that the preserve had to offer. Our focus here is environmental education. Uh, our theme out here is learning through leisure. So we bring people out to have a good time out in the woods, but we sneak in a little education. And um, our, our main goal out here is to create future good stewards of the earth. So make them appreciate this wonderful nature that we have surrounding us. The preserve focused on reptiles and amphibians that you could possibly encounter during your life to ensure that everybody left feeling well educated in different types of species in Alabama. There are over 20 species here today at Louise Crayer Preserve, ranging from boa constrictors to turtles and even salamanders. Attendees had the opportunity to learn about and touch different types of bearded dragons, geckos, snakes, and more. Um, we enjoy petting the snakes. I really like uh, reptiles and amphibians. I think they're just really neat how different they are and they have a lot of similarities with us too. And they just interact with the world so differently than we do that I just think it's really, really neat how diverse they are. From Channel 6, Eagle Eye TV, I'm Molly Vines. Louise Crayher Preserve's next event will be the Creepy Wonderful Critters program on Saturday, October 29th. This event will be all about alligators and where you can find them in Alabama. The event will begin at 10 in the morning. Now, let's hear from Eagle Eye's Charles C. Nuccarelli on a giveaway that could have you winning free tickets to Moon Taxi. Weagle 91.1 is teaming up for their first giveaway since 2004 with John Emerald Distilling Company. beneficial for Weagle because we're exercising our creative license as a radio station like we're actually doing a ticket giveaway and one lucky winner will see moon taxi live on November 3rd to enter the giveaway follow WEGL underscore AU on Twitter You can tune in to Weagle 91.1 or follow them on Twitter for more information on the giveaway. For more entertainment news, be sure to follow us on Twitter at Eagle Eye TV. Stay tuned to hear from the Weekly Sweet panel about where you can buy Robert Pattinson's clothes from Twilight. You're watching Eagle Eye TV Channel 6. Hey guys, this week on Real Talk we saw Keeping Up with the Joneses. Yep. I really liked it. I did not like it. I thought it was funny. I'm, uh, a, I'm a big John it, it was funny. It was funny. I laughed a few times. I thought the cast did well. John Hamm did good. Um, I don't think anyone else did. And Isla Fisher. She right. did okay. So okay. Zach Galifianakis and Gal. Average. Right. Low average for Gal. You'll have to uh, tune in to see our scores, but then we moved in onto TV. Yeah. Which um, is we got The Walking Dead starting up again this week, season seven. Season seven, and also American Horror Story is kind of taking a turn in the season. And I really like where it's going. Well, I don't watch it, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, you'll find out though. Then we moved on to some movie news. We saw a bunch of crazy new trailers. This yeah, week. I think they're very important for you guys to check out. Um, a lot of big stuff's coming. Rogue One, Nocturnal Animals, A Cure for Wellness. 
Right. I mean, it's just, it's been pretty lit in the trailer game, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, also, we talked a little bit about Amy Adams. Yeah, she's going to be busy at the Oscars. And then a Candy Crush game show on... CBS. CBS. So we'll see what they're going to do with that. Yeah, I think that's going to be absolute garbage. It's not going to go well. All right, well, uh, tune in. We'd really appreciate it if you guys listened to us. Got a whole new set for you. And uh, it should be a good time. See you there. Hey guys, welcome to the Weekly Sweep. I'm Charlesy, and on panel we have Jayla, William, and Kennedy. So we're going to jump right into our topics. Jayla, what do you have for us? Okay, so everyone who like knows about the CW, watches the DC comics, Jane the Virgin and whatnot, well, the CW has signed a new contract with Netflix, and it's a multi-year con um, converse, uh, contract, <laughs> and apparently Netflix now has all the rights to their present, present mm -hmm. shows and their future shows, and so eight days after the season finale of the show, it will be on Netflix. Yes. Entire season. All right. Instead of waiting like months at a time to see yeah. the uh, full season again, there eight days <laughs> you will see it. And the sad part is that they won't be on Hulu anymore. So if you miss, like, I missed Jane the Virgin yesterday, so I can't go on Hulu to watch it. I will have to either go on any type of CW platform or just, like, scratch the whole season and wait until it comes out on Netflix. And it's kind of like a good thing and a bad thing, depending on who you ask. Right. But, like, I think it's really good for the because... Like, this year, before the new contract, the CW, they allow Netflix to post their shows the day of the new season premiere. So that means if you miss, like, half the season and you wanted to binge watch, you probably missed out because you can't, like, 12 o'clock to 7 o'clock when the show starts. Like, you can't do that. But it's a new contract. Their ratings won't go down. It won't change. So it's, like, a win-win for everybody Except for Hulu. <laughs> but, like, it's okay. I pay for you, Hulu, so you got my seven ninety nine a month. <laughs> I, I don't like Hulu, so I'm okay with that. Yeah. yeah. I'm I mean, the commercials, that. it bothers you, but I get HBU the next day. Valid point. All right, William, what have you got for us? All right, so I'm going to be discussing John Boyega this week. Obviously, John Boyega's been a huge breakout star uh, ever since, you know, I don't think he was really heard of prior to Star Wars The Force Awakens. That's gone on to become one of the biggest movies of all time, and since then, you know, he's been cropping up left and right in places. Um, he's been signed on for a BBC America series called Watership Down, which is based on that really terrifying book that we all had to read in junior high about the bunnies, and it's like a metaphor for war and stuff. <laughs> Except for it's, like, really dark. Um, oh, high school did you go to? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> apparently, one where that's what we read. <laughs> <laughs> and so beyond that, he's been signed on to play Idris Elba's son in Pacific Rim too. Now Idris Elba's That's also beautiful. another huge name in Hollywood right now. So this is a big deal because like Pacific Rim is kind of a dumb movie, but it's a lot of fun. And I mean, it's it's got like a lot of hype bo like behind it because so I think for a while they weren't sure if they were gonna make a second one. And so now that they are certainly gonna make a second one, and his name is attached to it, I mean, it's gonna be pulling in lots of money. So I can expect, well, I guess not just me, but everyone can expect, I guess, if Pacific Rim makes it big. And I mean, it, you know, already he's got Star Wars attached to his uh, resume. But, you know, uh, aside from those two, you know, if they both continue to be successful film franchises, John Boyega is going to be a huge name in Hollywood from here on out. I imagine he's going to become like a huge household name. You can expect John Boyega everywhere. So We're going to have to learn how to pronounce his last name yeah. first. Right, I mean, right. I'm not sure if I'm actually Nyong'o. saying it. That's Perfect. valid point. Yes. All right, yeah. So there you go. Well, speaking of big names in Hollywood, Kennedy, what do you have for us? All right, you guys, so if you're like me and Halloween is one of your favorite holidays, but you're not really into scary movies with all the possessions and demons and stuff, <laughs> then you guys should definitely go see Tyler Perry's new movie called A Boo by a Medea Halloween movie. So just to give you guys a backstory, um, basically, Medea gets called by her nephew, Brian, and Tiffany, his daughter, is in college, and she's trying to go to this frat party, and he's like, no, I'm not having that. So he calls Medea and her friends to go up there, keep an eye on her, and so while they're there Halloween night, they're staying at this house and apparently it's haunted. So all this crazy stuff is happening and clowns appear out of nowhere. They get chased by zombies. I've seen the trailer and the zombie part is personally my favorite because it's hilarious. Um, so you guys should definitely see that if you want to get a laugh. And although this movie has definitely made people laugh so far since it just recently came out, it also has some controversy because a lot of people are saying, 
Um, Medea's movie made a lot more money than Birth of a Nation did when it first came out. Medea made about tw over $27 million, while Birth of a Nation only made $7 million. Oh, and people wow. are saying, why is Medea's movie making more money? And they're saying just because a lot of people want to be happy, and of course Birth of a Nation is a sad movie, it's a slave narrative, so people want to see that and be laugh, because of course we're going through tough times in our country. Um, but on a positive note, one thing I do like about Tyler Perry's movies is that he puts a lot of actors and actresses to work who aren't really consistent in the business right now. So that's what I love about him. And plus, he makes you laugh. And most of his movies have a great message. So if you want to have that this Halloween, then go check that movie out. Oh, my gosh. I'm headed there now. That was very convincing. <laughs> well, speaking of controversial films, Twilight. I'm going to throw it back just a bit. Were you Team Edward or Team Jacob? Edward. Jacob. Didn't watch him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say I'll just say for the sake of this, um, Team Jacob. Okay, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> well, for all of the tryhards out there, all four or five of the films, technically, items, props from the film, clothing are all up for auction. Now they are up for auction in California, not until a little bit later in November, but you can go ahead and start bidding online. And you can also bid live online during the auction itself. Now, I started to scroll through some of it, and they have got the legit costumes. Most of the bids start at $50, but I expect them to be insane. Who's the money else. going to? That is a good question. I don't know. I think it, I'm assuming I'm assuming some charity. I hope it's to a charity. Maybe it could go to the directors because they sure didn't make that much money off these things. Um <laughs> I just, I mean, you know, I don't know, but I'm excited because I really would love to own a piece of Edward Cullen. If I like, could get Bella's wedding ring. Ooh. I bet it's up for auction. I have no money. Well, Tiger card or actual money. <laughs> I have none of it's, it. It's a good idea, but for the, uh, well, college students out there who don't own anything or have any money, you know, Nothing. it's a dream. Maybe oh, the Smithsonian might get something. <laughs> <laughs> Remember this piece of history? Oh gosh, Twilight. I think we want to forget that piece of history. <laughs> hey, Twilight is probably, actually Justin Bieber cited my fangirlism, but Twilight was a really big part of that. That was the reason why I am who I am today. I love Twilight. I won't deny that fact. Yes. All right, well, that's all we have for today's weekly sweeps. For the latest in entertainment news, be sure to follow us on Twitter at Eagle Eye TV and subscribe to Eagle Eye TV on YouTube. Have a great day and War Eagle. War Eagle. War Eagle.